Hi there, everybody. Kevin Schulteis here. Uh, another audiobook review. Uh, I did the audiobook of The Upstart uh, by Brad Stone. Amazing book. I'm a tech head and I, I have I read a ton of leadership books and other books and stuff like that. I've read some autobiographies. Uh, I used to hate autobiographies and stuff like that. And um, yeah, no, that all my life's been changing, so that I've been sucking all that in. Now, so this was kind of unique in the fact that it's actually kind of like the founding. It's like the autobiography of a couple of different companies, kind of like Uber and Airbnb that started not even, not like like kind of like ten years ago, um, and just they're multi billion dollar companies now. And it was such an amazing ride listening to um, the slow start where they're at and the, the process and the thinking of, of the founders and, and the weird situations that they found themselves in and the weird circumstances that then they're like, Hey, maybe we could do something different and, and fix this problem because this is dumb and, 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 or we have this problem and then, you know, uh, Let's fix it. And then it was just really neat uh, going back in time, like about 10 years, because it's, it's 2017 now. And, and it was kind of going back in time, about 2007, 2008. Um, the iPhone had just come out. And of course, the iPhone just revolutionized the, the world with uh, a smartphone coming out. And now they're just, they're a tool that we all use. And we, we couldn't get our, uh, away with our life without uh, dealing with apps you know they always joke that there's an app for that if there's a problem um, and it's so true now right if there's a problem the iPhone literally allowed was created and the smartphone created a now platform that you could literally have GPS in your hand uh, you could communicate you take pictures you can do you can uh, phone you can do a ton of stuff instantly that you just weren't able to do before so a combination of timing and a bunch of different technologies um, literally started kind of playing with people. The internet's been around already a little while, uh, you know, 10 years earlier and stuff like that. 2008, you know, 1980, you know, 97, 98, 99, you know, internet was uh, 10 years plus into the making and stuff. So people have got used to the internet. But at the same time, the smartphone just changed everything. So even some of these ideas weren't even that new. Uh, you know, Uber with people kind of driving in cars and, and there needed to be a better way of dealing with the taxi industry and Airbnb and, and things like that, you know. And it literally walks you through this roller coaster of these ideas and they're testing them and, and this is working and this isn't working and then all the problems that are coming and, and then and just and even the speed at which the solutions came about with simple ideas and or application. They try a website and it's semi work semi doesn't work but then they get some users and then it generates some interest and um and it, it was just so neat and the, the way the book and, and i again i went through the audio version um you can either get the book or the audio version i went you know i like net learning no extra time so i'm a busy guy so i listened to it uh over a few day period and it was awesome and Literally, it walks you through just the fast pacedness because everything's happened in the last 10 years, less than 10 years, and it is just astonish, uh, just mind blowing, uh, including how the world um, that doesn't like the new technology and the new economics, whether you call it the sharing economy, um, the taxi industry was super livid, and cities are super livid. Uh, in many ways with the whole Uber concept, uh, people, owners, lots of problems com coming about uh, with Airbnb, cities try to shut you down, um, legal challenges, just all kinds of stuff. And Uber and Airbnb are in the news almost every few days anyways with another new problem with the city, whether that things are moving ahead because the city's slowly getting their... Uh, mentality changed because this is they've offering a new service new product new whatever it is and they're they're getting their head wrapped around it too not everybody liked atms at banks uh they, they were like blasphemous in the beginning uh and now we just love them you know you walk up and you you know sometimes you don't want to stand in line 
standing in line is like archaic, right? You know, and and even nowadays, fast food joints are starting to have ATM type machines, and you can order your food even before you, um, without even standing in line, because that's old school. And even in the last few months, you can pull out your apps and now order your meal and pay for it as you're going to the fa- uh, you know restaurants and stuff and then it's ready on your doorstep and then there's going to be more innovations so this was just an amazing book highly recommended uh for any tech head or anybody that kind of wants to have a fun roller coaster ride because it really did feel like a roller coaster uh t- more detail than i ever would have thought he would have had uh, access to uh and stuff like that uh, but he's he's done his research and got his all his stories uh, quite amazing and it feels uh, the only other kind of equivalent I would kind of feel like it, it almost felt like the social network movie where things were like back and forth back and forth and it was meant to and I, I have a feeling it was designed that way because things were happening simultaneously so he kind of goes through a few different examples and he's warping across back and forth across the planet and in different cities and the founders are here the founders are there and then and then it goes to the other story and the founders over here and sometimes their stories merge and and you know they have serendipitous moments where um just things click and and it, it was kind of like the social network where it just it, that movie was so fast paced and rightfully so same thing facebook just blew up and exploded the whole tech industry is very fast paced moving so um it was it was just a ton of detail and it was fast paced moving and it's deep so you could probably go through it a few a handful of times um i'll probably end up going back to this at some point and at the same time you're kind of left at the end with a me too moment like what if what if you could do something and in a few years time, if you pursued it and you worked through all your failures, that you too could do something big, something big. And we and I hear from my mentors all the time that we 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 kind of overestimate what we can do in 30 days or even one year. But we almost always we, we underestimate ourselves in what can be done over a 10 year period just because it's so hard to, uh, to see it that far out. And here's multi-billion dollar companies and their stories um, all in one, which is amazing. So highly suggested uh, that you go through the book and or the audio series. I borrowed it from my, the audio book, I borrowed it from my public library in Edmonton, uh, Edmonton Public Library. And you get a card or however you work with your library and what's kind of neat is my li- my library has a digital section, so you kind of go into digital section. And you're like, hey, I want to listen to audio books or something like that, and and they are partnered up with a few different groups like Overdrive and Hoopla and stuff. And you can rent movies and books and all kinds of stuff. I I didn't even think would be possible. No wonder other movie other industries like movie stores and stuff are kind of kicked to the curb because there's so much out there so you can probably get uh and i went through overdrive and my overdrive account is connected to the my library so my library pays for overdrive books to be borrowed so then i actually put a a hold on it because they had two copies or one copy and then they said hey we bought a couple copies you can borrow it now. So I actually borrowed it. And then like behind me, there's like six or seven other people that are now queued up to listen to it. Once I return my copy um, or it, yeah, once my copy goes back into circulation. So yeah, my suggestion is check out your library. Maybe they have a really uh, good, maybe they're connected to these types of companies too. Cause overdrive is pretty awesome. You can just, uh, you can rent, or borrow, I should say, a whole bunch of things. So if you just type up the upstart, and there you go, boom. And look at, you know, you can get other books. They recommend things, so you can borrow, and you I can borrow eBooks or I can borrow audiobooks. So that's what I did. Click on that, and then I borrow it. So yeah, definitely go check it out. Use some technology to listen to some technology, you know, about technology. And uh, you can do it. We live in a blessed countries. Uh, if you're watching this, you are blessed. You have technology to even watch this. You are you are in the upper percentage of 
people in the entire history of mankind. So use your blessings to go forth and find a need and fill it and serve others. And if you serve enough people, they usually say, you know, if you serve enough people, you kind of eventually can kind of get what you want out of it. And in, in a free market type societies and stuff like that, you can be compensated really well for that as well. Uh, whether it's monetary or whether it's just, uh, you know, spiritual or something, you get something out of it. So go and change the world.